First guest has earned a Golden Globe nomination and two Screen Actors Guild nominations for her starring role in the hit WB drama Gilmore Girls. Hello, Sailor. Fate your hook for you. You look ridiculous. I look adorable. No one ever told me that if you fish, you get to buy an outfit. I'll do just about anything if I can buy an outfit. I'll just let that go by because we have a lot to do here. Okay, wait. I just get my purse before we go. Go where? To the lake? You're not ready for the lake. Then what am I ready for? You're putting me in the kitty lake? Gotta crawl before you can walk. Well, this is not at all embarrassing. There's not even fish in it. Trout. Hey! Oh, they're so cute. Please welcome back to the show the lovely Lauren Graham. Thank you. Have a seat. You know, you're, it seemed like you were soaking that in. You were soaking that in. I was in. enjoying the nice love from the nice people. Yeah, Thank yeah, you. Yeah. I haven't seen you in a while on, on a little program. Uh, oh, on this program? Yeah. Right. What's the story? Well. Where have you been? Um, see, I kind of started a thing, which is my thing, of like, I come on the show when I had a story about you because it's your show, and I felt like that was only polite. How would you have a story about me? You mean this is the old thing when you see me out around town yes. shopping for furniture? Shopping, sure. You could call it furniture. <laughs> you didn't mean me. That's what you, you tell them. I was shopping for furniture. Yes, I saw you shopping for furniture with your designer. Right. <laughs> Which. Well, I mean, like he's gonna pick it out himself. He's a busy. You're busy. Yeah, busy. Yeah. I need. I need to get the discount. But then the last time I saw you, there was some like supermodel incident. But like I wasn't supposed to talk about it, so I. Couldn't talk about it. <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember that either. I don't, yeah. Well, that was the night that you had to drink um, vodka instead of gin because you were on a diet. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. We're doing like the greatest hits. I'm doing yeah. like the review. Well, it's good to see you back here. How how was oh, I? I thought you were kidding. Yeah. <laughs> was I nice in the dressing room or was I too low key for you? No, you're so nice. You're always really. Because I came in the dressing room and I don't. I want to save it and apparently it didn't work. I wanted Why? to save it for here. The magic <laughs> yeah. for here. Yeah. But I haven't seen you. I heard you. Were bummed about Yambo because you lost last time and you lost yeah, the slash. Yeah, right. And I heard. So okay. So I, yeah. And what did you hear? That you were embarrassed that you lost the slash. No, no, no. Well, I'll tell you what happened. Okay. Is that you fixed the contest because you're clearly afraid of slash and did not want to. Yeah. Uh, sometimes. <laughs> no, no. Sometimes there's sometimes audiences will laugh and other times they'll go ooh. Well, no matter what you say. Oh. Uh, okay. uh, Both. Yeah, but no, you're here and we're excited. Let's, yes, let's move happy. on and let's see okay. how they respond to that. Okay. All right, good. So on your show, yeah. I have noticed, other people notice that you guys talk rapid fire. Extremely quickly, yeah. Why is that? Mm, it just gives you, the home viewer, more bang for your buck. Yeah. <laughs> no, but it, 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 it's, a, it's a choice that they, the producers make. That yes. The director says... But there's a reason behind it, isn't they? Didn't they say that you guys are are wholesome and they want you to sound a little quirky, so talk fast? Or what was the logic? Gosh, I don't, I don't know. I, I I honestly think it's just sort of the sound of the show, and they just cram as much language as they possibly can. Okay, and you can do that. That's an ability you have to talk fast. Some would say. Yeah, and you believe you can do that with just about anything. Yes, Craig, I do. Come on, bring it on, bring it on. Green eggs and ham by Dr. Seuss. Too hard. <laughs> The only problem is the Jabberwocky might be faster, but this you have to turn the pages, and I don't want you to get Let's a paper cut. Let's do Jabberwocky. Cut. Jabberwocky. Can I tell you a Jabberwocky story? Yes, yes. Am I the first guest you ever had who had a Jabberwocky story? Absolutely. <laughs> Jabberwocky is a poem. Do you guys know it? Yeah. By Lewis Carroll. I believe it's by Lewis Carroll. By Lewis Carroll. It says right here. And I used to recite this for company oh. as a child. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. The parents, you'd come over and there'd be people over and you'd uh -huh. recite Jabberwocky. Yeah. Well, that's, that's a great but story. But now I'm going to do a lot of, oh, isn't it great? Yeah. But then I had it memorized. Now I'm going to do it All off right. the page. Okay. And you're going to try to do it rapid fire. Oh, I am. Okay. Is that what you do? Fast talk? I'm going to fa Sure, I'll fast talk. Do you it. know what else I used to do for company? Yeah. Um, my father and I would sing the Cat Stevens song, Father and Son. Because, because your dad, you were... You <laughs> There's were, so many O's tonight. I know. Tonight. You were a bit of a tomboy. No, it's because it's, because it's a duet. That's why. Oh, okay. okay. Then I did this, 
And this is how it went. Are we on a, some kind of clock? No, I just want to, I'll just watch. Yeah. Really? I'll, I'll, I'll watch and then we'll see how it goes and at the appropriate time we'll, we'll bag it. All right. There'll be a big ending. Go ahead. There'll be a big finish? Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Twas Brillig and the Slithy Toves did Gyre and Gimble in the Wayball Mimsy were the Bora Groves and the Mom Rats outgrave. Beware the Jabber Walk, my son, the Judge, the Bite, the Claws, the Catch. Beware the Jub Jub Bird and shun the frummiest Bander Snatch. That's great. That's oh. great. There is a there is a fan website, and you've heard about this. I don't know the the uh, separate six degrees of Lauren Graham. Have you heard about this? No, I don't look at all the any of the things. What don't you look at? Nothing. I don't look at anything. You don't look at the reviews. No, no, God, no, no. Why not? Because you, then, if you look at it once, then you become like, like you know, like a hungry for it. Then you're like. You oh, know, you crave a good review? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you're like calling the Philadelphia Inquirer and you're like, how'd you like this week, man? How'd you, what was the episode? Did, yeah. Was it okay? How yeah. was it? You know, like you're so like you, a, you Does know? your publicist ever say, hey, there was a nice story about you, you should read it? They will say so, but I, I just don't, it's better if I don't read anything. You're removed from it. You're mature. You're removed from it. I just focus it. on, you know, what is important. Right. Seeing me at a, at a uh, <laughs> furniture store. At a furniture store. <laughs> okay. Six Degrees of Lauren Graham. Are you ready? It's so fun. For okay, me. Catherine Hepburn. Yeah. Two degrees, they say. Hepburn and, and uh, Grace Quigley with Nick Nolte. Nolte yeah. and Nightwatch with you. Wow. Yeah. Is this fun for the home viewer? I don't know. <laughs> wait, wait. Bob Saget. Saget oh. and Half Baked with Harlan Williams. Williams in Lucky 13 with you. Hey, two movies no one's ever seen. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not repeating that one. Wow. Oh, look. Wait, what's this? That's boring. This is Kill Three degrees. That's the one we want to hear. That's boring. Please I think. come on. You read it. Okay. You read it. This is um, my degrees with Craig Kilborn. Although, why isn't it just here? Like, why do we even need any degrees? Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm reading them anyway. Yeah. Oh, Craig Kilborn was in The Hamptons with Alec Baldwin. What's that, Craig? Very embarrassing show. They shot me. I was in The Hamptons with you a were? sweater, and they shot me. And I yeah. with a sweater. I had a sweater on my neck. People made fun of me for that. Well, because that's a very preppy thing you do in The I, Hamptons. I People should not mock you for that. I know. I can be preppy when I have to be. No, you're very preppy. Kilborn in the Hamptons, but it wasn't a movie. It wasn't like a... No, it was a lame-ass show on ABC is what it was. <laughs> All right. How is your acting career coming? Go ahead. Kilborn in the Hamptons with Alec Baldwin. No, I meant that nicely. Yeah. Baldwin on the 2002 Emmy Awards with John Ritter. Does an award show count? Yeah. Ritter in Upcoming Bad Santa with Lauren Graham. There it is, right oh. there. That's the title. Stay with the five questions with Lauren Graham when we come back. Uh, I've known you for a while. I think you're cool. I think you're funny. I think you're beautiful. You've been working out. You've been working out hard. You're strong. <laughs> this outfit. Can I just talk about it for a second? Yeah. The dress is interesting. Okay, it's cool because it's kind of they got the low. I'm. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a plunging neckline. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I want to call it. But without doing without doing anything, what is this? The, the, it's two things right here. Yeah. I like this thing this, right here. Those. This is um. This is <laughs> the. This is. It points in the direction of my heart. Heart. Yeah. Nice. Exactly. Now, because I always make good eye contact with the guests, oh, until uh -huh. the break, I didn't notice. Now I feel very self-conscious and like I want you to look somewhere else. Well, I did during the break, and those shoes <laughs> oh are the shoes we are like killer. We love each other. There's no ooh. I oh, know. the shoes, the shoes. Yeah, yeah. See how great those are. By the way, you, you, your bio online. The, who writes it? Your publicist? No, I don't know. Some people. So this guy. You yeah. wrote it. No. Yeah. Yeah. But there's some there's something on there a quote from you. Yeah. A very powerful, heavy, deep quote. It's so embarrassing. Ta what, this is it. Read what it okay, says. Okay, somebody hands me this the other day, and they're like, first of all, this is your online. This is like the place people go, I guess, right. if they want to visit me right. in s space. And uh, the quote is. Um, Perspective is the most important thing to have in life. This is from you, right? <laughs> it's like trees are really 